Yes, well, we've gotten a little bit closer just so we can try and get some shade because it's very hot in the sun and unlike the buffalo we don't have a swimming pool to lie in we are stuck in a hot car so we've just moved into a bit of shade and also so we can see their faces because they do have funny faces with those big ears look and you can see how it's smelling us now we are in a different place the wind is blowing right from us to them and that's why they're busy sniffing trying to see what we are but look at those horns you see how there's the big thick part of the horns on top now that's what's called a boss. So earlier I was saying when the buffalo hit the car, that's what it used to hit the car so that it didn't actually hurt itself. And that thick horn structure, it helps to keep the skull in good condition if they're fighting or if they hit into something and protects their brain from any damage. But do you see that there's lots of color on it? So that's colors from the trees. Evan and Laylee. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, Laylee. I can't hear very nicely. But you want to know how do I tell a boy buffalo from a girl buffalo? Well, the boy buffalo, they have these big thick horns that you see here. Whereas the girl buffalo, she has just hair on top of her head. So you see that there? That's called a boss, which only the male has. The female will have just hair on top. So she doesn't have any of that big boss. She's only got a small set of horns on top because she doesn't have to fight with other buffalo to be able to protect the herd and to keep the herd in one place. So that's why she doesn't have to have such big strong horns. Now I'm going to try find you a picture of a girl buffalo so that I can show you what the difference is. So here we go. I've managed to get my book out and I can show you. So here is a boy buffalo like we're seeing. You see he's got his big thick horns on top so that's the boy buffalo with that big thick horn now the girl buffalo over here you see look on top of her horns you see that there's no big growth there it's just hair on top and then small horns that come off the side and then there's the little baby that's got tiny little horns so that baby is only a few months old but there you go Sophia and Theo you're asking about when the horns start to grow well the horns start to grow pretty much from birth so as soon as that little buffalo is born there's already two Sophia and Theo sorry Megan I can't hear you very nicely so I do apologize if I say the names wrong there's a lot of static on our radio where we're sitting but the horns start to grow already when the little baby comes out so as soon as it's born it will have a bald head there won't be any horns just yet because otherwise it would hurt the mommy but as soon as it comes out then those little tiny horns start to grow and then they grow throughout their life until they die at the ripe old age so it just takes a while for them to grow out and normally you can start to see their horns taking this sort of bowed effect that we see here so when they start to curl like that is normally around I would say about four or five years old we start to see them curling and really coming around to the horns that we see here now the male on this left hand side is a quite a young male he's not too old and you can see his horns haven't curled nearly as much as the other one so the other one is a slightly older male also the size of his horns on, on top of the head are quite small. Denise, you're asking how a buffalo takes a shower. Well, they are taking a shower right now, Denise. So they are very naughty. They're not like us that has to go and clean ourselves after playing in mud. These guys are allowed to play in mud and then nobody tells them to shower afterwards. So they don't have a shower like we do. The only way that they can shower is when it starts to rain. So when it rains, is when they shower otherwise the rest of the time they get to play around in mud and be full of mud and never have to wash themselves so they're a little bit dirty sometimes unfortunately but that's how it goes when you're a big male buffalo nobody can tell you what to do and look Craig you see that very very pretty bird over there now on our right hand side oh it's just flown away oh no I was hoping to show you a beautiful bird that was bright blue in coloration but it flew away unfortunately I'll keep an eye out maybe another one will come because they often do come where the buffalo are because of the amount of insects uh, Evelyn you're saying aren't buffalo larger than hippos well no Evelyn actually not hippos are bigger than buffalo a hippo will be much much larger and will weigh almost double what a buffalo weighs so a hippo's got lots of 
big fat layer that keeps it warm in the cold water and so that's why it's a little bit heavier. It's also a slightly longer animal and it's got a really really big head to house those massive teeth because the hippos have very 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 big teeth and they have to be able to put them somewhere so they have a massive head so that the teeth can stay inside and that they don't stay on the outside and get worn down or broken in any way and that's why they have these big heads. So lots and lots of weight there and so they are slightly larger well not slightly larger like I say double the size in weight. I'm going to try and find now there we go I was going to say I'm going to try and find a picture for you to show you what a hippo looks like and the size of a hippo but I believe Taylor has managed to find one in real life so let's rather go there and see what she can show us Look how cool this is, not just